did you guys just see? Remember that? That's from the last video. Am I right? So, today we're going to talk about speeding in a neighborhood versus drivers. <coughs> so let's go and get that started. Hey, yo! Do you know that's from, that's from the uh, Pump University 69? Known as Connor. Connor Smith. Yeah. Anyway, so in today's video, we're going to talk about the speeding. We're going to talk about um, what in regards is happening here and what should the neighbors do about speeding. So let's go and talk about it. So if you guys don't recall, this summer has been filled with speeding drama. And, you know, it's been very difficult with me having to replace my horn and then my GoPro mount. And it's just been a lot to deal with at the moment. And in today's video, we're going to talk about what exactly has happened here. So, as you may have seen from that first video, there was a whole fight where, you know, someone got confronted and all that stuff. Well, then, here it goes. So, you guys know what happened if you guys watched the last video. But in today's video, we're going to talk about what happened after that. So, there was a couple more incidents after the uh, fight that happened in front of my house. Um... But here is what happened afterwards. So, a mid around July ish, somewhere around that time, um, um, what's the off cam was driving in the car, right? And they were driving a little fast throughout the neighborhood. Well, then the canine cop's wife says, Slow down! And I hear it, because I hear it through my window. And I go up, and I go inside, and I say, hey, did, hey, were you speeding? I'm like, yeah, I was probably going a little fast. So then what happened was, is she comes up to my house, up to the porch, knocks on the glass, like, on our window, and, and says, we would just like to ask you to slow down when you're driving, because, you know, you can go to jail if you hit a kid. Yeah, and so then, and then that, and then that giant, a uh, stocky dude came around and flung around and was being all, being all bs -y with off cam. And yeah, let's just say, had I been right there and they actually confronted me, let's just say, you know, this is where it gets a little bit difficult. Because I'm, I can't, I, I can't, I'm not really going to fight it. I can talk in my mouth. I'm probably be a good politician. But yeah. You know, because I, cause had I been outside working on the bike, she would have come up and started yelling at me. Because, you know, she's the one. There's a whole story about the Canine Cop family. They've just had so much drama with me. And it's just no matter what happens, they just have to just get themselves involved in something that happens out there. Like, if I'm riding my bike, they have to get involved in everything that I do out there. You know, because I'm not going to let someone come up and start yelling at me when I'm not even driving. Because, yeah, they probably do, but they probably would think it would be me. Because since I'm legal, but I don't have my license yet or permit. Now, if I was on that bike and they yelled at me, let's just say I can't go over 15 miles an hour that much. So, they'd be the one that would misconstrue their words. They would misconstrue what I was doing. And, and, and if they yell at me, I'm going to say, and here's what I'm going to say. I'm, I'm going to say, I'm not speeding. I can't even go 20 miles an hour. So, you know what, dude? How about you just back off before I have to shove my finger up you, and we'll see who's going to be, be the, be the peeing contest now. <laughs> anyway, it's just a joke. Anyway, so, so let's move on past that. Now, then... Nothing else happened from there. And yes, I don't want to make this video a super long video. I just want to say what I want to say so we can continue this along. So then after that, um, my the kin had an issue. So here's what happened. So we were coming back from the beach, you know, with our guest and the kin was driving. And all of a sudden, this guy gets out of his car and says, Hey, slow down! And what happened was is... He, um, 
he, um, he went up to go talk to the neighbor that lived directly beside us, you know, you know, the, the, um, the fat, yeah, you guys know what I'm going to say, um, went up and went and talked to her, and, um, and so, so yeah, so he went up to go talk to her, and what happened was is, the Ken got out of the car, went up and said, excuse me, sir, but did you tell me to slow down? And then apparently this is where the argument happened. Now, I did catch it on camera. I deleted the footage of it, but I do have the audio in it. But it's too much to really put in there. But basically what happened was, went up and said, I'm not speeding. I'm not speeding. I don't speed through the neighborhood, okay? I'm very aware of what's going on. Well, you know, the thing is, is that there is a whole issue going on here. Because you got these people that got their kids, you know, they want people to stop speeding, right? Well, the problem is that 15 miles an hour in a car, you know, is different on a bicycle. Because I can go 50 miles an hour. But the problem is with the car, you know, they're going to be going like painfully slow with the gas if they're going to be going 50 miles an hour. Well, of course you go 50 miles an hour, right? Well, because, you know, the can goes like five over the speed limit. But then, you know, because they're going five over, and they weren't even going that fast. And, yeah, but in some people's eyes, going 20 and a 15 is bad and speeding, and it's against the law, which, of course, it is. But, yeah, I mean, it's just, come on, you got to do that crap. Well, now there's more to that story. More to the story! So here's what happened. So after the Kim went up, you know, yelled everything, and the other lady's like saying, oh, well, if you're not speeding, just go home. You're in my driveway. Yeah, because the Ken and them used to be friends, but now they're not anymore. And now that lady's being ding-dongy, ding-dongy, because, okay, so it was at the yard sale, and I, and you know, the thing is, when I get, like, all excited, I tend to talk loud. I tend to talk loud because, because you know, the kid at the time didn't, couldn't hear. I was like, oh, well, my basketball friend's coming over, and she's going to come over and look at the stuff. Well, then she's over there standing in the yard looking at me. I'm like, what? I can say a million things, lady. You know, you don't think that, uh, that under all that. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, so, anyway, I know I'm going to be a little bit irate there. But anyway, yeah, so then, so then here's what happened after that. Somebody posted about people slowing down, right? Well... Apparently, the guy who yelled at the kid to slow down posted, Oh, that's how I said someone to slow down. They got all upset and said they weren't going more than five over. Like, there's nothing thing as five over, blah, blah, blah. Well, then, off cam jumps in the conversation, goes all crazy with emojis and stuff, and says, Oh, but dude, oh, but you misconstrue math. You misconstrue this. You go exactly on the highway. You're, you are stupid. Yeah. And then the canine cop's wife got involved. I, I swear, they just tick me off sometimes. Um, but yeah, so then, so then what happens is, is that, um, and then what happens is, is I know there's probably no one going to be watching this. There's only going to be like one person who's watching this. And yeah, they're just going to sit there and they're just going to be astonished of what I'm going to say. And that's, that's usually how it goes. I, I, I only get like one to two viewers each, each time, right? Well, here's what happened. So after the, so after the, you know, after the, um, what, what was it? The canine, after the canine cop got involved, off cam didn't get in, didn't get in, they didn't say anything else. Well, um, well, so then the kid made a comment saying that, basically saying that, you know, that the roadways are for motors and vehicles, not for kids to play on. You know, stay in your backyard, you know, and all that stuff. Well, then that's how that explodes. And here's where I got involved in it. So, where do I stand on this issue? What the Ken is trying to say, regardless of what they said, is that people need to watch their kids. That's, that's what's going on here. 
Because people are not watching their kids. They're letting them run out in the street. They're letting them do whatever they want. And they're not watching them. But the thing is, is that there has been issues that's been going on in the neighborhood. And this is where, you know, the kid's like, you know what? I'm just going to go make this post and I'm going to cause a bunch of stuff. And it, and it really wasn't like nice according to what the kid had said. So here's what I had said. Um, so I'm like, you know what? If I, you know what? You should delete that comment. Just delete it. Delete it. Because, you know, you didn't have to say anything. You know, if the very least, the Ken should have responded to the guy who made a comment about her. She should have responded to that, to that jerk. Or just left it alone. That's what I would have done. Now, if someone was saying, oh, well, this woman driving a Volkswagen, oh, this man and woman that's driving a Volkswagen Tiguan are speeding in the neighborhood every day. And the dude on the blue bicycles speeding every day, and he's and he's being an idiot. Well, yeah, that's where I would get involved. Cause you know, thing is, is that I don't really give a crap what anyone thinks about me. I really don't give a crap what anyone thinks about me. If someone thinks that I'm an idiot because I ride my bike, like 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 I'm driving a car, then yeah, think that way. But you know, the thing is, is that I'm not an idiot. Okay, I can probably handle things more better than you can do. You know, these neighbors, they just honestly think I'm, I'm only capable of riding the damn bike. I can do more than that. That's all they are exposed to. You know what I mean? And there's only a very few who actually know me. Well, so then this is where it escalates. All of a sudden, just getting comment after comment after comment. And the... Over there. She was being absolutely stupid and said, so we're going to talk about when you're driving drunk. And that's when shh, the kin went off and went off and even threatened to sue her for defamation of character, dude. I, I know I would, but you know what? We ain't living in this neighborhood anymore longer. So, you know, we're going to be out of the baby. We're going to be out. Eventually. But yeah, I mean, the thing is, is that the canine cops people, they've just always been a... They've always... The, you know, the thing is with the canine cop and the family, they've just had interactions with me over and over and over and over and over again. Something that happens out there. I make a tiniest mistake, he comes out of his house and he confronts me. Basically. And then she has to run her mouth at me. I'm like, lady, okay, you're this little... I'm not going to get fired up over it. I just want to say what, what I want to say about this. So, anyway. So then, you know, that whole th exchange happened with the drunk thing. And then it happened with nearly everything. And, you know, saying, oh, I'm not stupid. Don't you dare threaten me. And then saying things that, like, saying things like, oh, well, you know, doesn't you, oh, that your son has this wrong with him, and that, you know, basically yapping about me. I'm like, really gotta put that on there? You really gotta put that on there? You really gotta put that on there, lady? Lady, you don't realize that, you know, you are the end piece, okay? You don't realize that, you know, what you're doing is gonna really mean a lot. It's just gonna make you look immature, because you're the one that's responding to this stuff. Yeah, I, mean, I just think that it's just a bunch of bunch of bad eggs is what I think it think that whole thing was. A bunch of bad eggs, a bunch of stupid people, and that's what happened, right? Well, so then what happens is after the Ken had responded to that one, just started getting on his comments like, Oh, you're a Facebook spat. And there's one lady that's being so ghetto saying like, nah fam, saying all this stuff. And it's a lady I know where she is. I know where she is. Because I recognized her husband's face. And so I recognized her. And I know where that lady lives. Well, he just starts saying, she starts saying all this stuff, all these offensive things, calling her names, all this stuff. And you know what? About half the people didn't even step in and straighten the butt out. 
You know what? If I was in that situation, I would have cut off the conversation right there. But no. She had to respond to it. She had to respond to it and respond to it and respond to it. Over and over and over and over and over and over again. Like, dude, just delete the comment. Leave it at that. If anyone's come up to talk to you, then deal with it then. Okay? Don't do it on social media. It's the worst thing. You can, that's one of the worst things you can do. Because all you gotta do is press the power, press the side button. I screenshot it. Now I had all the screenshots. I deleted them all because you know there's no need of having them. Um, and basically saying stuff like, "Oh well, you know," saying all this stuff about how I ride unsupervised. I'm like, I don't need to ride supervised. I'm a freaking adult. Back then I would, but you know there's been three other people who have had. Few different personalities. And they've never done anything. Well, actually two people. Because there was one at the beginning, the FOF, and then another one who was at the beginning. And did they think I'd be supervised? No. I mean, they wouldn't... I mean, FOF would take care of something like that if something did happen. They'd take care of it. But you know, the thing is, is that I don't need to be supervised because I'm an adult. I am adult. I don't need to be supervised. I can take care of myself. On the road. If someone cuts me off, I'll honk at them. If they get aggressive with me, I get the license plate number down and I call the cops. Now, that won't happen in my neighborhood, less likely. Most likely it would happen on the road. But, you know, that is the realistic deal here. The realistic deal is that I am not the one who needs to be a part of this whole nonsense. Well then I get well, well then I made my comment about how I like people when you're know, saying all stuff. Well then they say, Tristan, you had the right to be at neighborhood as anyone else would be. Well then there was this one woman who who sent this like freaking paragraph long s paragraph long comment saying that I'm that I deserve to be out neighborhood socialization is important. I'm like I'm not saying that kids can't be out in the street. That might be what the kid's saying. What I'm saying is that don't be saying shh. Don't be saying shaita about me on the Facebook page saying that I ran someone over with my bike. You understand that? You were the one who didn't say anything about it. You're the one who didn't say anything about it. You didn't come up and talk to my parents. You didn't come up and talk to the friend of the family. You didn't come up and talk to anybody at the moment. Your husband said something to me in 2016 because he thought I ran over a child. I was going to hit a kid. I'm like, I don't want any kids getting hit either. So how about you do your part, I do mine. Okay? Do your part, I do my part. Do you understand that? But also, your husband has, has confronted me two times for really BS reasons. Once, he confronted me because... I had, um, because I had, uh, all, because he almost backed into me when he was making a three-point turn with this car that obviously has a backup camera, okay? And you decide you're going to tell me to be careful? I'm not the one at fault, you idiot. Well, then he comes up and confronts me. But so I'm not the one who demands he stop. How about you come and talk to my mom? Talk to her about it. Don't talk to me about it. You didn't even introduce yourself to my mom and you're going to attack her? Do you understand that? Do you understand that you're the one, you guys are not all, all butterflies and flowers here. You guys have come after me before. Three times. Once, when the 2016 incident. Secondly, the one with the... One with the car thing, and then one recently in 2018 where I was trying to let you know that there was a blind spot there and the car could hit your kid because your kid almost hit the side of my bike. And your husband had come up, get, get right up in my face, act all cop, but then now he's all... And then now you want to say that you're bothered by my comment. Really, is that how you want to do this fine? I know you people don't like me. I really don't care if you don't like me. Okay, if... I will continue to do the same stuff I do, and there's not a damn thing you can do about it. Okay? If you don't like me, tough effing crap. Tough 
effing crap. But then this is here where I got irate. This lady, not the kid I got, but someone else that said, Tristan, be an adult and do it face to face. I'm like, hey, I'll do it face to face. How about you come out and you come up and confront me? How about you come up and flag my bike down and talk to me? Come, come up to my bike and talk to me. That's how you want to be. I don't have a problem doing it, but I choose not to do it because it's not worth my time. I, that's what I got the camera for. You do anything, I'll put your butt on YouTube. I'll make sure I put you on Moon of Madness, like I did with the cop. Ow. But yeah, what I'm trying to say is, is that this is the realistic problem. Is that there's these people that have to just run their damn mouth like they know me. They don't. I, I hate people that try to just be so controlling and manipulative. People that try to be controlling and manipulative. They got to do things their way. You got to be a perfect saint. I'm like, I don't have to be a perfect saint. If I, hey, if I want to be crazy and goofy and silly and have fun, I can do that if I want to. You want to stand that? I know my muscles are all locked up right now. Like I'm going to punch some guy in the face right now. But that's how, how frustrated I get. Because the one person saying they be supervised. I don't need to be supervised. I don't need someone to supervise me. I can supervise myself. I can supervise myself. I can supervise myself. I don't need someone to supervise me. Okay? If something happened out there, I report to the damn police. I understand that. But then there's people who have to go out and go and you know say I need to, I'm the one to be an adult. How about you're the one needs to be an adult? You're even lucky that I, that, I, that I'm even trying to make peace with you right now. You're lucky I try to make peace with you right now, lady. Because you know what I would say? I would say to you, how about you be an adult and stop talking to me over this, over the, oh, over the Facebook page? How about you come over here and talk to me in person? Flag me down while I'm on bike. Come up and talk to me. How about that? How about that? I mean, Jesus, cramity. I mean, you really, really got to be like that, man. See, this, see, this, see, this is how I get when I get irate. When I get irate, when I get angry, I tend to get this way. This is why there's someone that says, oh, Tristan's angry in his videos. Right now I'm angry in my videos because it just makes me mad that there's people that gotta do this, okay? I understand like 30 freaking 40 years, 40 year old with kids. I understand it. I might have kids laid down in my life too. Who knows? But you know, the thing is, is that you are going to say to me to be the adult. How about you say it to the Ken? They're the one that started this whole comment. I'm the one responding because the Ken and Cop's wife said I ran over a child. Which, here's what's up with that. The Ken and Cop's wife said that I ran over a child years ago and that they saved me from speeders. Let's debunk that for one second. Here is what happened here, people. Here is what has happened. What happened with that was that was a whole different story. A whole different story. The kid went out in front of me. I couldn't get my bike stop in time because here were two reasons why it happened. One, I was younger than 14 effing years old. I couldn't, I couldn't get stopped in time because it would hit someone else. And you know why? This is the problem I had at the very beginning. This is why I've been able to change my motives so something like that doesn't happen again. Because another thing is, you let your kids play out in the street, you don't watch them, they don't know there's a bike there, they cut right in front of me, I honk the horn, slam on the brakes. Yeah. That's why, you know, when I do see kids, I go like barely five miles an hour. So if a kid does run out in front of me, I can react accordingly. Accordingly! Accordingly! Accordingly. You understand that? The way I can react accordingly. But back then, I didn't. Back then, I hit a kid because I was going fast. And I slammed on the brakes and get stopped time and ran over the kid. Okay? He got hit. Bumped. Knocked over. Had zero injuries. If I ran him over, that, that would have been a different story. Do you understand that? That was years ago. You didn't say anything about it. Now, you want to bring it up and beat a dead horse and get all offended at me? Dude, it was, not, um, it, it was not the Ken's fault for not teaching me how to use the brakes properly. The kid knew that I was able to handle it. It was 100% my fault for that part. On, on my behalf, it was my fault for not stopping in time. You understand that? And now you want to bring it up years later and argue with me and stuff? Have your husband come up and come up to my face on the bike three different times? 
over the past years? I don't care. I am following the law. I'm not breaking any right of ways. I'm not breaking any laws. But the thing is, no, it, it's just not good enough for you. You just can't trust me. You have to watch me as I'm riding my bike. Is that what you got to do? I'm sorry, guys. I'm getting all irate. But yeah, this is how I feel. You know, you got these people that are just babbling their mouths, thinking that they know what they're doing. You know, because, you know, I've had issues with the canine cop several times before. I've had issues with him in the past. Well, now, neighbors out there babbling their mouths out at me. I mean, I mean, I understand no one's blaming for what I did, but, you know, the thing is, is that, is that, the thing is that, you know, the thing is, is that you are going to use that to get under someone else's skin. That was made by a personal snake mistake years ago. Alright, enough of that. Let's talk about what's been going on. All right. So, let's go and talk about what happened after that. After that, I deleted my thread of the comments. No one had said anything ever over it again. The canine cop guy looked at me when I was on my bike that one day. That he was doing his decorations. And besides that, we've not had any other incidents. We've not had any other incidents. Um, the guy who lives on the corner, the tall six foot three to five guy, he waves at me. And, I, and, and even the woman that even got after my mom still waves at me. And some even new people wave at me. Hallelujah. Wonderful. But, you know, nothing's ever going to change. I'm not going to not ride the bike just because of that happening. Okay. I'm going to let the full-grown adult who's been doing this crap for many, many, many years handle it. If anything happens out there, I'm sure neighbors will step in. Just like what happened before with the kids. But yeah, I hope no one outside in the street can hear me because I, I have my window open. And I don't want, any, don't want anybody to hear me. But I mean, they might. But you know, all that aside... Thank you guys for watching, and everything is, and nothing has happened from there on forth. Hopefully, the stuff will stop, and let's talk about what will be done, what neighbors should do. So, neighbors, what you should do is write down the license plate number and report it to the police. That's the only thing you can do. But can yell at someone to slow down, confront them, it's just going to cause a fight. Just stop. Do it a different way. Do it the wrong way. Peace out. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Dude, uh, thank you guys for watching. <laughs> right, Andrew?